Hi everyone, it's Christine here. Um, I'm going to do a um, tutorial on a project that I'm going to make for Paper Inspirations. I'm part of the creative design team. So um, Sue sent me some items um, which I've done an unboxing. So I'll link all the unboxings because these are from several little packages that she has sent me. Um, as well as the coffee paper a collage kit and some um, coffee dyed paper uh, envelopes and those little um, double pages there I'm going to try and incorporate um, these um, ball chain links in as well so this was actually the um, packaging paper um, from the products that Sue sent me. I've printed off some of her plain um, digitals from off her um, kits, her digital kits. So I just wanted plain papers. Um, going to incorporate these labels, possibly these journal cards. Um, and then I've got some tea dye paper that I've made and there's a bit more of that packaging. And then I've got a um, man manila folder um, for the cover and I love this motley green. It just looks really old. So um, I think what I'll do first is take, I've backed these with some plain, some of my plain backing papers so what I'll do is I'll get these white borders off first and then we can start so I don't know how much we'll get done in this video um, it might be two parts but we'll see we'll just take it as we go rubbish bin over here but I think I might change it to here to my side because I keep putting my hand across the camera I've just got to be careful because I've got like um, random stickers that I've got attached to it and I don't want to lose those that was a bit Okay, so that one's done. Getting through these. Oops. That's better. We've got that. Now I've got a sticker stuck to my arm. That was what I had on the side of my rubbish bucket. And then this is the last one. I don't know whether you've gone into my um, community tab on my um, YouTube um, profile, 
um, I've posted a message up there um, and having a fun com conversation with a, a few of you about puppies and um, yeah so I've just got a new puppy and um, it's like having a new baby in the house <laughs> so now how do I want to work this so let me just tell you the measurements So it's just under eight and a half and it's oh, 12, 13, 14, 14 and a half long. So I'm just going to have one signature in it, but I like the idea of wrapping it like that. Um, how long would that be? I want to use, let me just fold this, because this is how big I want the signature to be. To score it actually so that it I'm score it on that so it's a little bit away but I'm just going to get my black mark that's very faint because um, where I want to score it is actually I might do it that side actually so I've put it right into there and I'm going to score it six. And I'm going to turn it over and score it again. Just so that. It. Is very pliable. because it's got little cuts here and where I wanted to score it was right on that cut. So I've scored it on the six mark, which um, brought it in just on one side of that um, cut of the old folder. So, and then um, we want to, oh, that's six again. So that's cool. a bit like a document holder actually let's fold these papers okay just seeing where the white is so I've got a bit more white on the back of those. So let me just check these. That one's okay. A little bit of white on there. Oh, sorry about that. You would have got my head right in there, in the camera. So that's better. What's this one? That still had some.
so I'll link um, Sue's um, printables as well that I've used in this project. I'll link everything that I've used um, in the description box. And this was Graphic Fairies. Um, I'm a premium member of Graphic Fairy, so I always um, use their products. Now we want some of these. So this was, um, this is actually glue. So when I did, I did some faux rice paper. And um, with napkins, and I did it on the paper on the plastic that I do my tea dye, and so it's just come out onto that. So I'll just add that in. Not sure how big we're going to have this. I think probably a, either 15 to 20 pages, but we will get that in there because I've got these as well that I want to use. So there's one, two, three. There's an env two envelopes. And I want to do some... I've got these two papers. And I'm thinking I'll do some page extensions, so we'll get onto those. Isn't this gorgeous? Love that. So I might just put a bit of glue down there. It's good I've got the line so I know exactly where my edge is. like that I think I do I want this I like that so I want to put some this was out of um, Paper Inspiration's latest um, September um, monthly subscription box that I was buying. And um, I've got so much um, supplies that I've got to start using it all up. I find it quite hard to use. Now, like that, I think. Yeah, like that. Like that. Like that. Now, this page. Let's have that there. One. Like that. Oh, look at that. Love that marking. Let's just check this. Might actually make it more 
No. Forgot to put this on first. Got blue on my hand. That looks, aren't they beautiful? Love it. So, I might make one of these actually the cover, like of the signature. I might do those. So what have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. that as the center So that can be the center. So that's 15. And we can use these inside. So, so there's um, a few long bits. But what we will do... One of the long bits is the um, oops, is the page extension, and it just looked like it just needed to be moved up a bit. Yeah, that's better. So we'll need to cut some of these um, tea dyed papers down. I think the first one is okay. Yeah. So what I might do is take the envelope out. Hmm. 
I'm not sure if this is going to work, but no, I need my exacto knife. Still ruler. I don't push hard, I just um, do multiple passes. That in, that's much better okay so that is ready and we will put this envelope in now just make sure that I get this center of this cover and that the envelope is center I've got an idea um, of just turning that envelope over and that then that will become like a, a pocket. So um, let's get that sewn in. Okay, then get my poker. So I just eyeball it. So I go center. Um, like that. And then I do one up here and I'm making sure that I stay in the envelope area so that um, that gets captured and there's no loose bits and the same here so it's about the same tell you what you definitely won't want your finger in the way of that poker um, I'm going to do the knot on on the inside 
So that's where I'm going to start from the inside going out. And then that piece, that tail's there. And then through that one. And then straight down to the bottom through that one. And then up through the middle. And I'm making sure that I've got one tail on either side of that middle string. Like that. And I just pull it so it's tight. So I pull it the way the tail has come from. So this one has come from this hole here. So I'll pull it that way. This one is from this hole up here. So I'll pull it that way and that pulls it really nice and tight. And then you're not um, ripping your paper. And I'll just do a double knot. I might do some danglies on that. So we'll just um, keep them long enough. Um, if I want to do a bow or add danglies and then I can cut it up. So that's probably the easiest way to do that. I just love this coffee dyed um, envelope. It's gorgeous. Put those away. So this, um, I'm thinking of turning that over like that, but making this into a pocket as well. So I want to, what I mean is I want to just snip. A slither of that so small slither so that opens up that and that folds like that and then I so then I've got one pocket which is the main envelope I've got another pocket here which is un between these two layers then I've got another one there so So this middle one's going to be a bit like hidden because you don't know it's there. Oops. Okay, isn't that beautiful? Love it so much. All right, so that's like that. And... I'm actually wanting to do, I'm not sure how, how long we're going to go with this video. I want to do some magnets as the closure. Um, I don't know if I should get bigger ones actually. Got. Yeah, I think I will um, use bigger ones only because it's going to be the front cover and it might might get a bit bulky once I um, do the other other things. So, and I'm going to put the magnets on now because then I can cover them. So I'll 
got there's a negative and I need a positive. strong <laughs> now I want to I think I want to um, add an extra like a, a quarter of them so go six and a quarter just so I have like a little bit of a, a gap there um, Because then this will expand with with the um, the journal. Okay, Let's see how we go with that. This right. like a little little spine there yeah that's better I'm happy with that right I'll just take one of these stickers off do is I'll put it on um, put it about here and then take that one off Okay, there you go. So that's that's done now. Love all that tea dyed and coffee dyed paper in there. Yeah, that looks good. All right. So I think I will leave it at that for this video and um, I will see you in part two. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care. Bye.